Okay, this is the uh, flying jack that George got a patent on in 1937. I'm Bill Schrade, and George Schrade was my great-grandfather. George's ball peen handler, who he used throughout his career. His son was George Martin Schrade, my grandfather, and Theodore Ted Schrade, my father. Oh, boy, that's a guy I wish I could have met. All that I know of him is what my father told me, that he was, uh, he just worked all the time and lived at the factory. You know, him as a man, what he did in the knife industry and, you know, eager to share with people who he is. And a lot of people don't even know, you know, who the man was and what he was to the knife industry. This is a passport you carried in 1915. Yeah, it was a document, not like the little book we have today. But, uh... George was a pattern maker in New York City. Um, when you applied for a patent, um, you had to supply a working model, scale model, of what you were applying the patent for. But his interest was always in knives, and especially the automatic knife, and that just consumed all of his time. You know, and that's, he gave up uh, pattern making when he started the Press Button Knife Company. And, uh, you know, that was his sole interest was automatic knives. And the first knife company was the Press Button Knife Company, which he established in 1892. And that's, and he made, I think, uh, like maybe six or seven different knife patterns uh, with the press button. That's the knife with the button in the bolster. And he sold that company to the Walden Knife Company. In 1904 is when he divested himself of all of his interest in that company and started the Schrade Cutlery Company in Walden, New York. And most of the cutlers that worked for Walden went with him. So that might have been the demise of Walden Knife Company. In 1910, he sold out his partnership to his brothers and headed off to Germany. And when he was in Germany, um, he made the same knife that he got a patent on in New York, but it was under the Schrado uh, which makes name. It so unique. And he was there until uh, January 5th of 1915, when the winds of war were blowing. And from England, he came back to uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, with his son, with his suitcase, and a trunk load of tools. And he went to work for the Challenge Knife Company, and that's where they were manufacturing his uh, Next invention was, was called the Flylock knife, which had a sliding button in the uh, handle. And he was the superintendent for Challenge, and Challenge uh, owed him money for the royalties for the knife, for the Flylock knife, and they couldn't pay him. So they gave him the factory. So he hit the ground running, he had the building, he had the machinery, and all the cutlers, and that's when they, he established the George Trade Knife Company which was in Bridgeport, and that ran from uh, 1926 till 1958 when they outlawed the switchboard. And the reason he invented the knife, you know, it wasn't to get your, your weapon open in a hurry. It was so um, women wouldn't break their fingernails opening a knife. That, that was the real reason for the automatic knife. It, it didn't get the term switchblade to much later. And the switchblade, you know, the impact in the switchblade, well, I should say automatic knife, not switchblade, because that would be his term. You know, the impact with the automatic knife, you know, people continue to make them. You know, I think he would be surprised, you know, to see where it is today. It's gone probably somewhere beyond where he, you know, he couldn't imagine. You know, he had these ideas in his head that he brought to fruition and, you know, the legacy carried on. And I would hope, you know, that he would want to see that, you know, perpetuated through the whole, you know, line of the Schrade cutlery. I hope Schrade brings the, the uh, glory back to the legacy of the Schrade cutlery company. And I think they're, they're going to be so excited to see the brand come back uh, to these shores, especially to see the old patterns, um, pocket knives, you know, uh, patterns of the hunting knives that Schrade made. And, uh, I, I just think it's so great that it, it's coming back to the shores.